G'day, welcome back. Oh, some new people, welcome. I'm Stuart, welcome to the channel. This morning I'm grading some Kogoni Tora or Golden Tiger Madaka. And I've got, I've done the first selection already. Now these are fish that were part of a breeding group um, last season. And I'll just see if I can get some anti-reflection black. Well, there's some shade, but it doesn't really cut the reflection. There we go. These were, these are my first selection of some fish that were breeding last season. And I'm, when I say first selection, I, I selected them, but I'm gonna go a little bit harsher because that one that's on the left, pointing up and down, or was pointing up and down, now it's on a slight angle, it's got a more of a pink cast to it than a yellow cast to it. So that male is going to be cold. It's coming out of the group. Now what I'm after in the Kogani Torah is first of all a golden colour. Now some of these are really good with their golden colour. After the golden colour what I'm looking for is distinct patches of black and yellow. Now some of these ones, particularly those large ones that are towards sort of the bottom right are brilliant they've got a really good large patch on the head which is something i'm after of the, of the gold i can't i don't know the anatomy term of it but you get on madaka two lines of distinct color either side of the spine uh, near the head and i like those to be gold and the next thing i'm looking for is that there are distinct patches of black and yellow and that where as much as possible the black is really, conf is it's not dispersed, it's not spread all over the fish. So some of these you can see the black is a little bit kind of dispersed which gives a sort of a muddy yellow colour. Like that one there on the, the bottom, bottom left, it's got a good head but the rest of the body comes look like a pale yellow and that's because there's lots of little black scales along its length. But some of these you can see that there's this real sort of well, tiger patterning of the yellow and the black and it's quite distinct. But anyway, beautiful fish. I'm gonna transfer them to a red bowl because on a red substrate, these guys look even better. So here they are in the, the, red, the red rice bowl and I just, I, li I like, the, I really love the way they the colours, are, the sort of the, it's like the highlights, the gold and the black at the same time on the red substrate. You know, dark colours are your more common you know, background in ponds of course, but if you are doing what the Japanese do and pulling these out for display on a table or something, having different coloured bowls to display your back madaka while they're in them for a, you know, an evening or a couple of days or something can be a really good way to really highlight the colours. Anyway, now I've got to start working on my overwintered stock. It's got one more thing to add. Now the light is completely different. The sun hasn't quite set, but it's very, it's very close to it. But the Kagani Tora that I was well filming earlier, they've now been sitting in a white tub for well since this morning. All the black marks from them have basically completely faded away. Now if I were to get those out and look really closely, you might see some faint changes in the gold colour. Now this can be a really frustrating thing when you're working with Madaka because you t put them on different substrates and the colours can completely change. It can be also very frustrating when you're buying Madaka because often when you will buy them in the pet shop or your local fish shop, especially when you're viewing them from the side, you can be buying gold madaka, um, orange madaka, tiger. Um, and this can be a really frustrating thing um, with you know, selecting madaka for breeding is because they change color. Not all varieties, but a lot of varieties. It's something I want to try and breed out of the work, the ones I'm working on, so they stay fixed. So in my gold line and my orange line, that is a characteristic I'm looking to eliminate as quickly as I can. I've done. I've been pretty successful with the Kagani Gold and, and got rid of most of it. The orange, not so much. It's still a work in progress. Um, but also in the Tiger lines, it's to uh, it's to get 
the black coloration as distinct and localized as possible so it is that very stripy patched appearance um, that you want with a with the tiger um, feature uh, now in time I'm going to be selecting my tiger varieties so that the black is fixed but you know that's going to be the work of many generations and at the moment and you know well you can only do so much once <laughs> but anyway Catch you later. Bye-bye.